Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Meredith McKinney and Courtney Hornsby. And uh, today we're talking about the West Monroe Oral History Project. Meredith's a professor at ULM. Courtney, Chief of Staff for the City of West Monroe. Welcome. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank you so much for having us. Good to have you. And uh, let me start with you, uh, Courtney. I want to ask you a little bit about this project. An oral history project sounds like a great idea to record history of a city before its loss. Uh, What prompted this oral history project for you guys? Well, I think it would be a couple of different things. Mayor Mitchell, the city of West Monroe mayor, knew that there were several key figures in the community who were uh, very important to the history, one of them being former West Monroe Mayor Burt Hatton. And for years, we'd been saying we need to record their histories. There's so many things that they know, so many stories that aren't necessarily written down that are very important to the fabric of West Monroe. And unfortunately, COVID happened. And I think many of us can agree that during COVID, Many lives were lost. Uh, Now, some of it was just due to age, but certainly we lost many people who were very integral into the history of West Monroe. And at that that time, we realized, okay, we, we need to do something. What can we do? And then it happened to be the city of West Monroe's 140th birthday in 2023. So we thought, this is the perfect opportunity. Let's find a way to make it happen. And we were fortunate enough to be able to write a couple of grants to receive some financial assistance to make this possible and then we were able to partner with the University of Louisiana at Monroe to actually complete the oral history so that's the reason why this happened and uh, we we you know really uh, understood how important it is to document that history some of the people that we interviewed actually talk about some of the individuals that we lost so that was very meaningful and starting this process, we realized there's many more that we'd like to interview. Um, Meredith, uh, there was a process um, and it was whittled down to 12 folks. You had a chance to sit down and do the interviews with these folks. What are some of the, the, the topics that um, these folks wanted to make sure were recorded in history? Well, we talked to um, one woman who had been a rodeo photographer. Um, That was really interesting. Um, A lot of the people uh, across the board talked about the fairgrounds, what is now uh, West Monroe City Hall, being the former um, fairgrounds, and even before that, um, World War II um, prisoner camp. Um, We also talked to people who lived um, in what was old downtown West Monroe, Um, where um, Antique Alley is now when the I-20 corridor was being built. Um, We also talked about the I. Hamilton Expo Center, um, somebody that had worked at Belt South at the time, and, of course, some people who had went to school at Richardson High School, which was the all-African-American high school before West Monroe High School was integrated. So those are a few of the topics we covered. It's a a long project, I know, to um, sit down and interview someone and and pick out the the parts that you – that are pertinent and that you want to keep. And and uh, you guys shot video of all these folks and edited them. How long ago did you start the project, uh, Courtney? And, and how long did it take to come to completion? Well, we really started dreaming of the project intensely in 2023 as we celebrated our 140th birthday. We started last spring and summer applying for some of these grants that I mentioned to you. And we were fortunate enough to receive them last fall. So through the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities, as well as the National Trust for Historic Preservation, we received both of those grants in the fall Then started working with our colleagues at ULM and KEDM, as well as some of our other partners, really putting together what did we want to accomplish? What is this going to look like? Coming up with that list. And then we really kicked off 2024 by interviewing those candidates and putting all of that information and those stories together. You're going to be hosting an event tomorrow night. Uh, Tell me a little bit about this event. Where is it going to be and what time? Sure. It's a public event. It is tomorrow, Tuesday night, April 16th at 5 o'clock at the West Monroe Convention Center, completely free and open to anyone. This is where we will actually debut. We'll talk a little bit about the project, but we will debut a 30-minute video that compiles all of the stories. So we really realize 
us if there were a lot of themes that were happening, just like Meredith was saying, the rodeo, the fairgrounds, Richardson High School talking about segregation, talking about downtown. There were themes that presented themselves over and over again, which is what is so unique and fun about doing oral histories, because we don't dictate the script. They're telling us the stories. And so we compiled that 30-minute video. It will be aired tomorrow, and we'll show that to the public. The interviewees are invited to attend, and then we also have a special guest coming. Yes, uh, Dr. Anderson from the History Department. Um, he will be doing a, a, a guest speaking about oral histories in general. Yes. So, um, Meredith, I want to ask you a little bit. You had a chance to sit down and talk to these folks, and I guess most of these folks are on up in years. Uh, that's the reason you're trying to get them recorded now. Um, what was the most interesting uh, thing you found out about West Monroe that you didn't know? It wasn't really a specific thing about West Monroe. It was essentially the, just the pride from being from that area, just across the board. They were so proud of being from West Monroe, proud of the place, proud of the people, proud of its history, uh, just proud to be a part of the project, um, just so proud of their hometown and where they came from and all the growth that they've seen. Courtney, what happens next with um, these um these videos uh, you've got the event tomorrow night you're going to show them to everybody but then um, how do they get preserved and uh, where do they go and become historic right so there are 12 videos and they range in length anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes on average and you mentioned the age I will tell you the youngest was probably mid 60s and the oldest is 94 and so these videos will live on the city of West Monroe website we'll have that link available and all of them will be there all 12 of them we'll also be working again with KEDM to have have them aired on the radio station but not only the video but the 12 will live on the city of west monroe's website and we'll be sure to get that link out to the public the uh, event coming up tomorrow night in west monroe courtney again tell folks uh, if they want to come out tomorrow night where do they go is there any cost or you just come on out completely free light refreshments will be served anyone can attend tuesday april 16th 5 p.m at the west monroe convention center and uh, Meredith, uh, for folks to uh, find out more about uh, the works of ULM and the history department and how this all came together, where do they go to learn more about your part? Um, we will be posting a, a press release soon. Yeah. All right. That's Meredith McKinney and Courtney Hornsby. It is the West Monroe Oral History Project. And again, we'll uh, get a hold of those videos and post them on our website as well, KEDM.org. That's tomorrow night at the city of West Monroe. Find out more at KEDM.org and don't forget Lanyap's available on all the major podcasting platforms.